Hey everybody, welcome to The Homestead. So today we're gonna to talk about emergency food storage preparedness. I usually get an email about once a month, once a month uh, from one of these companies out there that tell me that they wanna send me some of their emergency food storage pro products to test and then promote to my channel. They say something like, Zach, you know, your audience would be perfect for our product. We know that our product would fit wonderfully with your channel. And they're promoting some sort of MRE-ish type emergency food storage plant. And I don't ever, I just, I just ignore these people. I ignore them. I don't believe in it. I'm sorry. I just don't. In fact, I think it's dangerous. It could be dangerous. Long, long ago, we always promoted, starting long ago, to always learn how to cook. Learn how to cook. If you can learn how to cook, folks, you can do amazing things for feeding your family. But see, so many people today are so used to not cooking. You walk into someone's house, there's nothing in the fridge. There's nothing in the cupboards. Um, nothing real of sustenance. And you look at any town today in America and you just look down the main strip and it's just full of chain restaurants where America eats. That's, it's like America's cafeterias. <laughs> it's like a whole bunch of cafeterias. That's where, I mean, you leave, you leave to go to work. You pick up a breakfast burrito and a drive through you may pick up your coffee in a drive-thru too. And then you go out to lunch for your lunch break. And then at dinner, you go and you eat out. Or you pick up, take out on the way home from work and bring it home. That's where America eats today. We don't know how to cook. And so when these companies email me, I ignore them. I ignore them because I'm not interested. When I promote products on my channel, I promote products that I believe in, like Zeal. I take Zeal every day. I take it every day. Okay, and um, times tales. My kids have used times tales to learn the multiplication tables. They have memorized those and we've had phenomenal success with it. So I, I don't have, I, I, I want to promote things and share things with my audience that I believe in. I'm not just out to make a buck because what would be the most catastrophic thing in my mind would be for a year from now or two years from now, you buy some of these products and you open up the pouch that I had talked about years before of the product, this emergency food product, and you smell it and it's rancid. I have gotten so many emails from people who have had just that experience. And it's heartbreaking because there are so many people like that who are going to open up this food and they're going to be like, oh, what in the world? I can't eat this. I'm not going to eat this. This has gone bad. You, ever, you, ever, you know that rancid oil smell? Because these are highly processed foods. It's either the oil they're using or it's um, the wheat, wheat germ of whatever wheat product they're using. Something has made it go bad. They don't last. I have gotten so many emails from people who have opened up to test their products after years and it's gone bad. What if you really needed that? So what I tell people is to store the raw food ingredients that you can learn to cook from. Something like wheat berries or rice or corn grains or beans or lentils. You know, the dried products that you can then convert into food, you know, like they did all 1800-ish. <laughs> all 1800-like. <laughs> you can still do that today, you know. We have the technology. Um, some people are like, yeah, it's called the Instant Pot. <laughs> anyway, um, you can still do it with fire and a pot of water. Some people are like, you know, Zach, I can't afford that. I can't afford the wheat. You know, those wheat those uh, wheat uh, grinders, they're expensive, like four or $500 for the good ones. And I know the country living grain mill is pretty expensive. And now Layman's, I think, has another one I saw recently from a subscriber. You know, she bought one that was like $1,000. I mean, they, they make some really nice ones out there. But what if you don't have that kind of money? Guys, what if I could tell you, you could put up a substantial amount of storage food uh, for five bucks a week, five bucks a week. I'm not trying to sell you any plan. I'm not going to send you to some website. I'm going to send you to Walmart. <laughs> um, I went to Walmart the other day. I'm like, what can I buy for five bucks? This right here, three pounds, three pounds of spaghetti. It's dated to be good for like another four years. And trust me, it'll go back. It'll go longer. As long as you store it right, you know, put it in a dry place, cool, dry place. It'll be good for long. Don't leave it outside in the rain. But I mean, it'll be good for a long time. It's just dried regular spaghetti. It won't go rancid. It'll be good forever. And it's three pounds of food for $3.36, like a, three, a, a dollar a pound. And gives you about a dollar fifty left over or whatever, you know, including taxes, to buy, you know, a can of lentils or a can of beans. You add this up. I mean, if you did this every month, a month, if you did $5 a week, you'd have 
10, was it, uh, what, 12 pounds? Three times four, 12 pounds? In a month of spaghetti? That's a lot of spaghetti. It's a lot of spaghetti. And then you add some other cans and various things that you throw in with it, you've got a substantial amount of food at the end of a year. At the end of a month, you've got a good, you know, little stash. Maybe something like this. And you say, oh, Zach, I can't buy that chicken. It's not organically free range. You know what? <laughs> you won't be starving. When you're starving, you don't care if the meat you're eating is organic, free range, you know, whatever. Raised by Farmer John down the street. It's food. Okay, and you put this, some of the stuff away and it comes in really handy when you're making some pasta or something else or some beans or whatever to throw in with it. So you can get some of these foods and then learn how to cook and then you rotate through it. So you're rotating it through it constantly. You're learning what your family likes to eat at home. You're cooking at home. You're eating at home. And you're establishing this early on so that if disaster does strike, you've got some, some backup plans that won't, when you open it, be like, oh, it's rancid. Oh, man. You know what I mean? You re that would be catastrophic. And I'm not going to put my name on a brand, you know, a company that's fly by night uh, opening. See, you know, with all the stuff that's happened this year, last year, the riots and all these things, man, these companies are popping up like crazy. Companies I'd never even heard of, and they're selling this stuff retail. They're pushing it. They're pushing it hard. Because they know there's money to be made because people are in a panic. And America is rich. America is very, very rich. And they got money to throw around to, to keep their convenience. They love, we love our convenience. And so we'll pay whatever it takes to be fed. We will. And, so, and, and not have to do anything. We just want to open the pouch, add hot water, and be fed. And you can buy something easy. People love easy. People in America love easy. They'll pay money, big money. And so these companies are popping up everywhere. Be careful, folks. I've gotten so many emails from you guys saying they opened up their stuff just to see after a couple years, after a few years, and it was rancid. You don't want to be that guy when the time counts. You don't want to be that guy when the time counts. This is the number 10 can of potato flakes. I don't know. I may never even open this thing. I know how to grow potatoes. I'll eat my own potatoes before I have to open this up. But if I ever have to open it up, I hope it's good. It may not be. But I will have backups. I will have backup plans. You know, this if this if this whatever's in this can is bad, it won't it'll be okay because I'll have other stuff. But that's the idea, you know, have multiple options. So anyway, I wanted to do this video today because I get these emails like once a month from these companies who are like, Zach, you know, we think your channel will be perfect for our product. We want you to promote our product. We'll help, we'll pay you to be a promoter. No, thanks. I don't, I don't want to do that because I can't guarantee what you're selling is going to be good for my audience down the road. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I may, I have a little bit of the stuff stacked away, stashed away, at least MRE type stuff, MRE type companies. I have some, I have some, but it's very small in comparison with the rest of my storage foods. You know, I, very small. I, I just don't trust them. I'm sorry. I just don't. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure before you go, hit that like button. It's a great free way, simple free way you can support our channel. It tells the algorithms over at YouTube um, that, hey, there are people actually who watch this channel and like it. Uh, so do that for me. I appreciate it. And then uh, check out our merch, teespring.com. You know, homeschool while it's still legal. Uh, we got lots of links in the description below uh, for that stuff. You can get all kinds of different t-shirts. I uh, really appreciate that. And subscribe if you haven't already. And if you do subscribe, hit that bell button so that you get notified for all of our future videos. All right, guys, leave a comment below. Let me know what you're doing for emergency food storage. Do you buy some of these packages? Have you ever had a bad experience opening up one and be like, oh, that's not good. Let me know. I want to hear about it in the comments below. And um, yeah, it's a crazy world we're living in. See you next time on The Homestead. Bye. Hey, guys, we know that a lot of our audience are homeschoolers. Homeschooling here is very important to us. Uh, and if you're like us, maybe you've had a hard time training your youngsters to memorize their times tables. Well, I want to introduce you to a program today that I think will help with that. This is Times Tales. It's perfect for small children. At age seven, my youngest son has his multiplication tables memorized, all of them. Times Tales is a series of stories that your child learns in a video. The video presents a simple story that your child can easily recall from memory and assist them in easily remembering the multiplication facts. My late wife, Jamie, made a video talking about how our oldest child still was having problems with times table memorization. 
until we tried Times Tales. After months of getting behind and stressful struggling, Times Tales was almost an overnight correction and allowed him to get back on track with his math courses. So I want you to give this a try. They have different packages available and there's gonna be a link in the description below. Every purchase you make from this program is gonna help the homestead. Give it a try, it worked for us. I'm sure it can work for you and your child too. I know my math facts. Hey, hey there, thanks for watching our channel. If you're looking for great off-grid homesteading videos, this is the channel for you. Hit that subscribe button and be sure to like the video you just watched. You can also feel free to send us your questions by going to anamericanhomestead.com on our contact page and send me your question. Your question might get made into a video. In the meantime, check out some of these other great videos. Oh wait, go ahead and click them. Go ahead. <laughs>